Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I think it's going to be a quick one today, just a package that's arrived. No other description on it other than it just says module. So let's have a look and see what a module is. I should really save these up and maybe do them all at the end of a week, but I'm too excited to see what is awaiting me in here because it could be a fascinating module. It could be the heart of a massively amazing arcade project or Oh, actually, it is the heart of a massively exciting arcade project. Look at this. <gasps> it's a wondrous, wondrous thing. I did think I ordered two, actually. Um, hmm. Note to self. Chase this up. Look at that. This is unbelievably fantastic. Now, if you're looking at this at home and going, why are you so excited by this? It's actually a ribbon format HDMI cable and it's useful for a project I've been working on uh, and although I probably might not uh, use that particular thing. So this is my Raspberry Pi in a box gaming system with, you can see just there that metal panel. That's the, the, the metal panel I'm going to use, which is a composite one. However, this is the panel I was going to use originally and this is a touch screen HDMI panel. But the problem was, now I can show you this is what, this way around. It was going to go in the lid and to get the HDMI signal from here to here was going to be almost impossible because no cable would fit there. Um, 90 degree adapters and things, you know, normal HDMI cable are really bulky. So this was a sort of halfway house solution. And the reason is halfway house because I probably would still have had to modify this just to get this to fit properly um, by demounting the original socket and moving it around. But this ribbon actually allows you to kind of route it rather easier through the screen so you could still have a hinge mechanism and unbeknown to me they've actually modified the ribbon cable because it's actually got now a fiber coating and I'll show you that fiber coating we'll try to zoom in and have a little look at it and that's going to make it a lot stronger so you can see there just about it's got a nylon coating adhered to it and then on the back you can just see the actual ribbon itself and you can just see where it's come away a little bit so it's just stuck to that so that's going to give it a lot more strength you know so and resilience against uh, breaking so that's going to be really useful if you're using a panel in an embedded project like that that's going to save you a lot of room in the internal um, hooking up of these things because you're almost doing like a systems integration you're not hooking these up using soldering and wires you're still just using normal commercial connectors so that's always going to be a downfall having to use uh, uh, you know, old school ribbon cable. Um, I say old school ribbon cables. Regular HDMI cables that you'll get in your telly. So for me now, if I did want to continue with that project, and I say I'm not going to do that because I've got a composite screen which looks fine in seven inch, is that I could desolder that, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass. There are a lot of connections HDMI, but it's still doable. And then actually mount it at an angle, and then solder it. You know, glue this on there, and then I've got a cable that's just running off this panel, and I could use that. Thank gosh I don't have to do that right now. It would be cute mind if, you can see here, the cable is actually detachable, the ribbon itself. Yeah, you can detach that. If you could have a, a, a suitable port here that you could just hook these ribbons straight in. If they could just do a standard ribbon format for HDMI, that'd be really great. Now, what would be nice, I might investigate this. There's many occasions where you have to use this ribbon cable to hook things up. If you can buy the different size of size of ribbon cable with this nylon pre-fitted, that'd be really useful. Or if you're doing your own, you could consider, maybe you can buy sheets of this nylon if it's sticky back nylon and actually stick it over your existing ribbon, cut the, you know, trim it to fit, and then you'll have this much stronger version. But yeah. There you go, isn't that funny? We, I thought this was gonna be a very short, you know, 30 second video, and I think it's probably about uh, four minutes 20 at the moment. Um, but yeah, I hope that's of some use to you. Please share, like, and subscribe if you're that way inclined. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, jump over there and buy me a coffee, or just chat, hang out. That's my direct contact to me. Um, but above all, if you feel the need, please comment down below. As ever, thank you so much, guys, and thanks for watching. <music>